Hey everybody, my name is Gadam, welcome back for another video of Last Judgment. We're back with some more boys. Now we just freed this guy from these ex Yakuza's, of course the RK and everything. It turned out not to be Soma though. Kind of frustrating a little bit. You sure you didn't see RK's leader, Soma, anywhere? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he wasn't here. I see. So we did all this work for nothing. Yeah, pretty much. We saved your ass for no reason. Really want to find that guy? Yes, if we do. Case, I heard some RK members say Soma's giving his orders from Ijincho. Aha. Uh -huh. Then maybe he's been searching for Kuana over there this whole time. Speaking of which, Tesso's place got raided just this morning. RK was looking for Kuana. Although, I'm not sure Soma was there either. Well then, sounds like we're done in Kamurocho for now. Should we go back to Eugene show tomorrow? If we meet up with Kuana somehow, I'm sure Soma will show eventually. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we're skipping town and we're going back into Linshin Show, boys. Uh, which is gonna be fine. So I should go head back to the office and rest for the night. Got you. So where's the office again? The office is all the way down there, though. Yeah, I gotta take a taxi down here. Uh, is there a way for me to take a taxi close by? There is this one. So I'll take this taxi. I'll go rest up again. And uh, I guess in the morning we'll head out for the for the next city. Uh, for the other city and stuff. Uh, instead, that's uh, Linchincho, I think. It's where Sairi High School is, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna head out over there eventually. And uh, we'll see, boys. I'm not sure if we're gonna do any more side quests, though. Because this game is getting pretty long, uh, I do want to finish it at some point. So I'm not sure if we're ever going to really be doing any side stuff unless they force us to. Uh, the game forces us to. So let's continue. All right, so time to meet with uh, Tsukumo and discuss our next step. Although Lynchish is clock full of RK right yeah, now. Time to earn our keep. Let's roll talk. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so head to Yokohama. I'll definitely do that. We do need the taxi for that. So we're back. We're going back to the city, boys. Let's do this shit. All right, we're back in the city. Back in our old place, boy. The Yokohama 99. We were in our own city. Now we're back in the other one. About to uh, talk. Hey, little doggy. We're about to talk oh, with uh, uh, with our friends hey. here. You alone? Where's Sugiura? He's out asking around about Kawana-san. Although ever since he skipped out on the Leomong spot, we haven't found a single trace of him anywhere. We're not even positive he's still in Ijincho. Is that right? Rare to see you in a rut. Maybe we didn't need to rush over here. Did Tesso reach out to you at all? No. All of Ijincho's basically been at a dead stop since you last left. I heard Soma's been running RK from somewhere in Ijincho. Yes, but we haven't been able to pinpoint his exact location. I see. That explains the dead stop. I should scope out what's going on in Ninchin Show. Hopefully I find uh, I find a lead on Kuana or somehow, uh, Soma somehow. Okay. Well, what's our next mission then? Let's just look for the, any of them, any information. Check up on Ninchin Show. Okay. Let's go back, head back into the city. Maybe something's gonna happen that's gonna give me something. So what does that even mean, check up on Ninchincho? Like, that's the city itself, so what do I do? I, it's not like I can go to the sea, um, high school or anything, do anything, really. Oh, there we go. I just was supposed to roam around until the phone call. Yo, I heard you're back in town, Yagami. Kuana? Is that you? <laughs> I'll send someone to bring you to me. So you really are still in Ichin Show. Yeah, but we don't want RK or public security joining us. Make sure you're not being followed first. Shake any tails you might have. How? <laughs> you should know that one by now, Mr. Detective. Get to Sawakun's apartment once you know you're good. Her apartment? Yeah. That's Later. where you are? Okay. An interesting area to an interesting place to be hiding uh, at so shake any tales I might have guess I how to head into Liu Mang territory I doubt RK can keep a bet a bet on me there 
Just gotta make uh, sure I put a solid vanishing act. Okay. So just gotta make sure that uh, I disappear for, uh, for real. So now, where is that at though? It's over there. So I can literally travel there, fast travel there. Uh, if I just take that taxi or whatever. So let me see. That one. Just take that taxi. I travel to the Luomang district. And I guess somehow I'm going to try and get off, uh, shake up the tails. I haven't noticed anybody really following me. Well, now that you mention it. No, because these guys are right in front of me. So it doesn't make any sense. Let me try and uh, go to the Luman district, boys. We're going to do this shit. No, we're going in. We're going in. I'm going to the, the Luman district. So they're right there. We're going to shake them off somehow. Oh, shit. Get off these goddamn chairs everywhere, man. Goddamn chairs everywhere. Let's go. There's a Luman district right here. That's my boy. He's just chilling over here. Hey, bro. Awfully quiet here today, man. I heard our case swept through here. Yeah, they sent two of our guys to the hospital. Busted them up sort of bad. Before we knew it, we were outnumbered. Took one step outside and it was like we were in another city. Do you think they were after Kiwana? Oh, no doubt about it. He managed to escape, but we don't know where to. He reached out to me not too long ago. I'm on my way to see him, actually. You serious? Yeah, but if I went straight there, I'd be leading RK right to him. Got to slip past anyone tailing me first. <laughs> right. So that's why you came. Here I was, thinking you were checking on your Aniki. Well, that too, but help me out here. You got any secret tunnels around here? You know, for gang stuff? Gang stuff? Well, I figured if you did, I could give RK the slip. You with me? I would be pretty sweet, yeah. So you have one or not? Actually, we do. After all, we've got gang stuff to handle. Come on, follow me. Thanks, man. Here we are. Our own little escape route. Juana probably used this when he booked it. All right, then. So he's telling me uh, we're going the same place Kuana went at. How did he find out about that secret place, though? Did you tell him or something? Wait, ju just that door? That simple, boys? It's just that simple. Anybody else could have figured that one out. Oh, we're going underground, I see. Okay. Your escape route is a sewer? We keep it pretty clean, actually. <laughs> you smell any shit? Oh, you're right. Follow it to the end and you'll get out at Fukutoku Park. Now this here's for emergencies only, so don't go blabbing about it. Hey, you got it. Though, I think I should disguise myself before I head down. Disguise no myself? Way, Why? Up my tail if I come out of here looking totally different. Good thinking. <laughs> I like your style. They want me to change my costume? Okay. Which costume do you want me to pick? I could pick the pilot costume again. That would make any sense if I come work clothes. I could, you know what? Pardon the style. I'm styling that and those clothes though. I am styling those clothes, but I think work style fits better uh, right now for just the uh, the one. But you know what? I like the bartender. Let's do the bartender style. Uh, that's the one I like the most. I look classy in that one. Dang, looking sharp. You do this a lot, don't you? <laughs> I guess I'm pretty good at it by now. Okay, ready to hop in? It's a straight path, but it's dark down there. I could guide you if you want. Nah, I'm fine. Besides, Kiwana probably still feels bad about getting your place raided. <laughs> if that's true. Tell him that I don't see it that way for me. RK's the only ones on my shit list right now. I'm booting their asses out of Ijincho for good. I'm sure he'll be happy to hear it. Thanks again.
I worked. All right, I should have lost any RK tells by now. Kawana said he'd send someone to get me in front of Sawa's apartment. Time to go. Uh, you know what? I got a feeling it's Seg uh, Seguri or something. Probably him waiting for me. That's gonna uh, help me out. So let me take a taxi now, I guess. Once again. So yeah, we're taking a taxi. And we're taking this uh, this one. We're just gonna get a little bit closer to Sawa's apartment uh, faster that way. I I'm stalling right now. I got the suit and everything on. I, I, I figured, you know, I'm going to the sewers. I could probably do the work outfit. But uh, I feel like that wouldn't really make any sense. Wouldn't change anything. So uh, I feel like being a little bit more stylish might as well go that or a route, right? All right, who's picking me up? Nice outfit, Yagami-san. Akaike-kun, you really are wrapped around Kawana's finger, aren't you? Please, just get in. I'll take you to Sensei. Just you today? Where are your classmates? Beats me. Seems like he doesn't need much help today. Oh. All right, so this guy is really working hardcore for uh, Kawana, man. Seems to love him or something. What the hell? Keep this selling is that him out. Converted into a museum, right? Yeah, but it's empty around this time, and Sensei doesn't plan on sticking around. Oh, is Kawana fleeing to his next little hiding spot after this? <laughs> That's a question for Sensei, not me. Well, we're on this boat. Whatever Kawana's doing Yo, here, right? Sorry to make you come all the way we're about out to here. find out. Being a wanted man sucks. Pretty sweet digs for a wanted man. Hey, this place has all the escape routes I could ever need. No one around to get caught in the crossfire either. Funny time to start caring about how your actions affect others. Akaike, mind giving me and Yagami-san some space? Go ahead, Yagami-san. One thing's for sure, we do have a nice view over here. It's a nice place. I feel awful for dragging Tesso into this. RK only trashed his place because I was there. Those damn thugs really don't give a rat's ass about the Leo Mong. It's public security who doesn't give a rat's ass. There's nowhere in Japan you can escape them. By the way, there's a good chance Soma's an undercover public security agent. Ever since his Tojo clan days. He's public security? Yeah. If we can drag him out of whatever hole he's in, we might find out who's at the very top of this. And until the truth is exposed, he'll be hunted forever. Well, that's concerning. Sawa Sensei's murder, Mikoshiba's murder. Everything has to come to light. And in a way that public security can't sweep it under the rug. I think Ahara's appeal hearing is going to be the perfect time to expose it all. When you say expose it all, you mean Kusumoto-san too, right? I won't lift a finger to betray her. This conversation is pointless. Even if that's what killed Sawa-sensei? Because there is a point. Your judgment's just too cloudy to see it. Do you really know what Mitsuru was like 13 years ago? Then you have no right to speak to me that way. I'm facing the reality of bullying head-on. The rest of the world is content to turn a blind eye to the problem. Our whole society. They make a show of it when a kid commits suicide. But nothing changes about the reasons why. And every time, some bully with tears in his eyes always has the exact same line. I had no idea they would ever kill themselves. Yeah. They have no idea how their cruelty affects the person on the receiving end. You know why? Because they've never suffered. They don't know what it means to feel unsafe. I take care of that. I show them how much they've taken their safety for granted. Their actions need to have consequences. Even if they don't realize until it's too late. Kawana. As we speak, there are kids out there fearing that they have to go to school tomorrow. Like Mitsuru. 
Every kid like him deserves justice. So I had to become what I am to see it done. I know exactly what you're saying. All too well. In fact, I know so well that it scares me. But if you let your sense of justice guide you totally unchecked, you'll eventually lose control and end up in a pretty dark place. You'll rationalize the sacrifices, whatever justice takes. For example, Sawa Sensei's death at the hands of Soma. Enough! Real justice has nothing to fear from the truth. Otherwise, you wouldn't turn away. So come on. Until you and Reiko Kusamoto turn yourselves in, public security won't give up. They won't give up. Don't you get it? I'm pretty sure Reiko now is probably not even now, gonna turn herself in anymore because her kid is yeah. is more than alive. Disappear. What? They've got leverage on her I'll now. I'll do it on my own terms, though. Public security won't find me. I knew the day would come that I'd have to trigger my exit strategy. It pays to have underground connections. Oh, you think it would be that easy, do you? I'm sure you know. A serial killer can't hide. Right. Every person that I've murdered deserved what they had coming. I won't stop doing it. There's dirty work to be done. And I don't mind being society's handyman. Whatever it takes. Thirteen years ago when Mitsuru jumped off that roof, I knew I'd spend the rest of my life atoning. It's the only way I can think of that will give Mitsuru what I didn't give him then. I don't really care what becomes of me either. I owe him. I'm going to finish what I started. Okay. So why'd you bring me out here then? You seem pretty set. Were you hoping I was going to pat you on the back for it? Hardly. I wouldn't expect a guy who drew his line in the sand to suddenly come around. But maybe that's exactly why I spilled my guts to you in the first place. What do you mean? Ehara san should be the one carrying this thing. I hate to ask, but would you mind passing it along? What is that? You're the only one I can trust with it now. Isn't this... Toshiro? That locket has my final message to Ehara-san in it. I was supposed to help him get justice for his son, but I'm not going to be able to see it through. Well, I guess the rest is up to him. As soon as I'm out of here, my face and my name are going to have to be changed. Were you thinking I was just going to watch as you walked away? <laughs> you really going to make this a dramatic breakup? Stop it. I'm not going to back down on this. Years ago, a girl died because I didn't chase the truth to the end. Her name was Emi Terasawa, and I'll never forget her. Murderers tend to follow a rule. They have no problem killing again to protect their secrets. I'm not going to allow you to, to kill anybody else. Kusumoto. I can't allow Kawana to kill anybody else, buddy. Uh, guys, it's just not going to uh, cannot happen. That you would pull this shit instead of saying goodbye. If you run, I won't chase you. There may be a trail of death in your wake. But in court, I'd have nothing that would stick. Even if I brought you down, the only thing that'd keep you from escaping are the bars of a jail cell. So what now then? Until you finally realize that you need to turn yourself in. I'll need to be persuasive. For you. Reiko Kusamoto, I firmly believe that the two of you can still be saved. <laughs> I swear. Soma. Soma's right here. He came to us after all. Soma. See, I told you, Kuwana, people are gonna die. It doesn't what matter. How the hell could they have figured out where we'd be? Listen up! Kitakata sensei stays alive. As for Yagami, if killing him means he doesn't escape, that's fine. I made sure I wasn't tailed on the way here. We both did. Neither of us could have led them out here. I know for no. damn sure we're too careful for that to happen. That means there's only one guy they could have tailed to find us. It was a Kaike. 
Public security figured out that there's a connection between me and him. Are you aware of the implications of that? Is figuring that out right now really all that important? It's Kusumoto-san. She knows him. She's the only connection between me and Akaike. What? Yeah, she knows him. I'm saying she's working with public security. Sell me out. Something happened that caused she, her. To she sold her him mind. out. Public security, I guess. She turned a blind eye. Of course, she turned. Okay, so she betrayed him. Interesting development right here, boys. Remember earlier? Didn't you say something about this ship having a bunch of escape routes? A bunch of escape routes, great for a party of one. Fine. Why are you still here? Well, I thought you wanted to persuade me. I admit, I was interested in hearing you spin some more of your bullshit. <laughs> you got it. Now I'll have time to think. All right, he wants to stay. He doesn't want to flee. Okay, then. What is the hold up? Hurry up and take them. Yo, these guys have a whole bag of tricks up their sleeves. Take out their legs so they can't run. Looks like they finally upgraded us to the RK Big Shots. Yeah. But they're gonna be sorry they messed with us all the same. Let's do this shit, boys. Not doing this to protect Kuana. I'm just doing this so I can, you know, have him still alive. So let's go. Let's kick their ass. Let's uh, get, uh, do this, boys. No. Oh, all right. This guy's a big one. All right. This one's a big shot, huh? Because they prevented me from attacking him and stuff. No, you don't. Okay. You actually got me. You know what? I got a surprise for you. Long time that I haven't done that. So, Urk and Runner, buddy. Just like that. There we go. How about my shoot of your face right there as well? For good measure. Boom. There we go. Oh, they're all up on my ass. I'm gonna need some Kuana help right there, boys. Boom. There we go. Just like that. We're gonna sweep the legs, boys, and just get them real quick. Look how much damage I do as well. This is why I'm having a lot more of an easier time because I'm doing so much damage. EX action again. Once again on your ass. Another arrow can run it. You do not want to put me on the ground, buddy. I'm just gonna keep doing the EX action. All right, let's go. Just like that, we're just gonna do that. Boom! No, you don't. Let's go. EX action again. Boom! Just like that. Multiple one right there as well. All right, we're going in. Boom! All right. And just same thing like that. Let's go. We got him. Just like that. Another EX action, boys. And that's gonna be fantastic. We actually get both of them right there. Game both of them. Look at that. We're getting a lot of AoEs and stuff. That's crazy. Let's go get him. Boom. Just get him again. Another EX action. This guy has no chance against me. He keeps getting his ass kicked by that EX action right there, boys. Let's go, buddy. Woo! Okay, I couldn't get him right there. Let's go. Let's get him. No, you don't. Oh, shit. How the fuck? All right, let's go. No, you don't. All right, go, go, go. We're gonna get him. We gotta get him. Let's go. There we go. Nice judo takedown right here, boys. This is a nice little boss fight. Oh, he's got guns and everything as well. Okay. He's actually using guns. They're really not kicking it up. Well, no, no, you don't. Got you. Dodge that shit and get it right off your face. Get off me. All right, go goes him. Can we fight Soma and get rid of him now? Really struggling to take out two guys. RK is going to be a joke if this keeps up. I thought you boys were the Tojo clan's finest. Your work really shouldn't be an embarrassment. <sighs> it's about time for plan B. Huh? You saying you've got another trick up your sleeve? Yeah, but it kind of sucks, so I wouldn't get your hopes up. You run for it. Yeah, that's the plan B, all right. What the fuck was that? 
Holy shit! This guy just... That was his plan B. Shit's crazy. That is not good. Now, Kwana's still alive. That that for sure I know. God damn, man. Alrighty then, that's another chapter done. 30k. And we get, didn't get to beat Soma, man. He came to us. We should have been able to beat his ass. That's unfortunate, boys. That's really unfortunate. He came all the way to see us. What now? The final chapter. There it is. Are we actually gonna finish the game? What the hell? What do you know? 13 chapters in total, boys. Genda Sensei, they're calling last night's bombing a terrorist attack. The body they recovered was burnt beyond recognition. That was a Kaike coon, right? The one Yagami mentioned? Yes, I believe so. Nothing about Soma or RK in the article either. Could public security be tampering with the press? I wouldn't give public security that much credit. Besides, if a bomb goes off in a deserted public place, it's only natural for the police to assume it's terrorism. Right. I guess when you put it that way. Unfortunately, even if they do identify a Kaike Kun, the ones responsible are Kawana and Soma. Two guys who are totally off the grid. Any investigation would grind to a halt. It'd probably end up as another unsolved mystery. If the public learned the bombing was tied to Ihara's battery case, Jaws would hit the floor. Anyway, where's Yagami? You heard from him since last night? No, we've been in touch via email though. He's on his way to a hospital now. Great. What'd he get himself into now? If he's actually going to the hospital, does that mean it's serious? Don't worry, he's fine. He's just going to meet with someone about the case. Who'd want to meet up at a hospital? Reiko Kusumoto. Oh, so we're meeting up with her personally, boys. We're about to uh, ask for some answers here. She betrayed uh, Kuwana. Just because of the kid. She was about to turn herself in. I knew she wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna do it because of her son. Take your time. You'll adjust eventually. Work again? I won't be long. Just need to take a quick meeting. Now put down that mirror already. So, you sold Kwan out to public security because Mitsurakun woke up. Is that about to sum it up? <sighs> you waited 13 years for Mitsurakun to wake up. If you turn yourself in now, you'd lose him all over again. There's that. Yes. Going forward, he needs to stand on his own two feet. 
and rebuild his life. It'll take time, and lots of it. There's no real end in sight. He's at a disadvantage as it is. And to brand him the child of a murderer on top of that. I couldn't. You know you're a waste of space. You're really a waste of space, my girl. Unbelievable. The fact that he woke up like... Oh yeah, your child woke up finally. Man, turn yourself in. You didn't murder. At some point, your child's gonna want to kill himself anyways. He's a su I have suicidal tendencies. What makes you think the second he's out of the hospital is not going to try and kill himself anyways? Well, if she wants to do the best for her child, boy, she, she would have turned herself in. It's incredible. Finally, he's woken up. Doesn't this change everything? I think you may want to reconsider what you told me, Kusumoto-san. Alone, I'm sure you could have lived with the weight of your choice. But... <laughs> now you have something you'd sacrifice everything to protect. He's so precious. But he's also so fragile he could come crashing down without even a warning. You're going to have to be his shield, Kusumoto-san. We'll do it together. With your cooperation. <laughs> she could have just refused. The head's strong. What the? I mean, come on, man. I to do what I can to protect him. So easily manipulated. So. It's unbelievable. You covered up your crimes and it was Sawasensei who got caught in the crossfire. On top of that, Akaike-kun's throat was slit last night. Now he's dead too. Kawano will be another body for the pile soon. Hell, maybe I'm in trouble myself. How was he yesterday? Well, as soon as RK showed up for him, he knew you'd stabbed him in the back. I can't really say how that made him feel. Until now, he'd been adamant about ensuring you stayed out of this. He said no one could blame you for what you did to Shinya Kawai. Not so sure he's going to feel the Kawano same now that you betrayed him. Line. Now you've got another you target on your back, and you, you idiot. That means whatever happens next, it's his move. And whatever he does to you, none of my business. Yeah, none of my business. That's you decided me. to uh, to no turn a blind eye. Murder. You're stupid. So you're off you deserve it too. now. I only came here today because I wanted to know why you betrayed Kuana. That's all. I hope Mitsurakun has a speedy recovery. How about something, boys? Definitely something. What are we gonna do, what are we gonna do now? Time to come up with a plan? We'll do that uh, in the next video, boys. The next video might be the last one. I don't know. We're in the na last chapter, so remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.